What's going on guys? Alright, so in this video I am going to be talking about this product research tool. It's called Minia. I've been using this for the last few months and um, I actually really like this tool. I've used a lot of different product research tools throughout the years. Pretty much all the biggest ones out there. Different ones from private developers and pretty much everything in between. So I'm going to be going over some of the features here and then kind of just giving some of my thoughts on how I feel this measures up to some of the things I've used in the past. So let's get right into it. So first off, there is a free trial and you do get you know some of the features for free. I am currently on the uh, $50 a month plan. It's actually a little bit more because it's a European uh, app, so they have their price in euros. Um, but I, this is the plan that I'm currently on and these are the features right here. So uh, 10,000 credits of analysis. So basically this works on a credit system. You get 10,000 credits uh, per month and then those credits are used up as you analyze different products and use the different features and, and things. I've found that 10,000 is, is plenty for my purposes, which by the way guys, if you want to test this tool out for free and get some free credits to kind of play around with the different features and analyze some ads and things like that, uh, I do have my affiliate link down in the description and you'll also get a little bonus that way as well. And so for this plan, you get access to the Facebook ads, spy, the Instagram placements, spy, Snapchat placements, Snapchat ads, spy, advanced filters, access to Chrome extension. Um, and that is pretty much everything that I need when it comes to product research. Um, but obviously if you have, you know, more advanced needs, you can, you know, get the bigger plan and get Pinterest ads, uh, shop analysis, influencer analysis, and you know some extra things like that so that is the price again there is a free version and you get access to some basic features with the free version but let's get right into the Facebook ads spy that's the main purpose that um, most people are going to use this for so Facebook ads um, this I find to be very user friendly and it's really geared towards you know e-commerce drop shipping in particular so there's a lot of really cool products on here and it's got you know all the standard filters that pretty much every um, ad spy tool has you can filter by let's just go ahead and test out a few things here I'm gonna go ahead and filter by the United States Canada I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, English I'm gonna filter this to let's just do Shopify and then I'm just going to go ahead and put um, scene date. I'm going to open up the advanced filters right here and I'm going to put um, creation date. So the so basically within the last 30 days, these are all the ads that were created and I'm going to sort it by, let's go ahead and do shares. So over the last 30 days, these are the ads that have been shared the most. So a lot of print on demand right here. Uh, Hello Kitty sweater. So this little vegetable cutter. Okay, so very, you know, good filters. I mean, again, these are pretty standard filters on most um, spy tools, but I find the UI of this tool very simple and kind of, you know, easy to navigate. Um, so I like that a lot and then one of you know one of the really cool things about this is if you want to get more information on a particular ad let's just say this one for example I'm gonna open it up and now I have access to um, a lot more information about the ad I can see how it's trending over time now this right here is actually different than a lot of tools out there a lot of tools do not tell you what um, you know what audience is being targeted so in this case I can actually see that this is being targeted a hundred percent to the United States I can see that 44.4 percent of the audience is female 55.6 percent of, of the audience is male uh, 40 to 50 is the age range so 20 to 30 30 to 40 and 40 to 50 is the age range for this campaign so that is very useful information to know we can scroll up here and I can see you know what's in the actual ad copy I can open up the ad itself or I can go to um, the product page so let's go ahead and open up the product page and now I can see you know they're selling this t-shirt for $19.95 and you know look at their landing page very basic you know Shopify template right here um, so that's you know in terms of showing the information that's absolutely necessary, I absolutely love that it gives you access to these details right here. 
Another feature that I like is when you're going through, you're searching for different ads, you can add, you know, if you see something that you like, you can add it to your list and it will save it on, on a list for you. But probably one of the things that I find myself using the most and just it's so simple to kind of get an overall view of what's happening uh, in the market is if I come over to list right here and if I come down to the top 100 winning products, this is the top 100 products um, basically in the entire you know dropshipping e-commerce space it's you know updated periodically and I can go through and see all of these different e-commerce ads that are basically making people millions of dollars uh, right now so you know if you're just trying to find something real quick and test it out and test different things and see what takes off you know this is a great way to come in and just get a quick view at everything that's going on everything that's making people a ton of money right now so that's pretty much the main features of this tool it can do quite a few more things but um, you know for most uh, drop shippers the main purpose is obviously just going to be looking for different Facebook ads TikTok ads um, this tool has a lot in the works in terms of what they're going to be adding um, you know with TikTok ads and all kinds of new stuff that they uh, that they're talking about adding to this uh, platform. So how does it stack up against other tools that I've used? Well, in terms of the search filters, it's pretty standard in that regard, but it does have those additional demographics that a lot of other tools do not. So that in itself is a huge plus. In addition to the user interface is just very simple uh, and easy to navigate, easy to use. And the top 10 lists and the top 100 lists are just awesome. I love getting in there and looking at those lists to get a quick uh, overview of what's really working in the market right now. So with those factors, this is my absolute favorite tool as of right now. Uh, that could of course change as time goes on and Obviously, there's always you know people out there making new tools and, and different things, but as of right now, this is my absolute favorite um, spy tool in terms of you know checking out Facebook ads and top selling products that are you know getting a ton of traffic and making people a ton of money and all that good stuff. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope this was helpful. See you next time.